my name is Suba Garwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to teach coordinates in math. So the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of help them understand the use of a point as something that indicates location. And a great analogy for kids now is GPS. They've seen their mom use it in their car, they might have it on their own iPods. But every time you're trying to find somewhere to go, it'll drop a little dot right on that map. And that's a great analogy of dots being used to indicate location. The next thing you're going to want to do is introduce the coordinate grid. So we're going to intro that grid. And the grid is made up of equally sized and equally spaced squares. Um, excuse my drawing, it might be a little unequal, but I'm going to do my best here. So this is our grid. The second thing you're going to want to do is introduce the axes. And a great way to do that is if you give the kids graph paper, they can fold it in half horizontally and then fold it in half vertically to get lines that kind of go like this. And you have them trace out those lines. You're going to tell them that the one going horizontally is the x-axis and the one going vertically is the y-axis. So here we're introducing the axes. And we're going to want to label the center point as the origin, which has a value of zero. And that's actually the third thing we're going to do is introduce values. So for example, Everything to the right of the origin is going to be positive on the x-axis. And everything above the origin is going to be positive on the y-axis. And everything below is going to be negative. Fourth thing you're going to want to do is get start to introduce ordered pairs. So an ordered pair is written like some number comma another number. So for example, for example 3 comma 4. This first value right here is going to be the x, second one is going to be the y. Show them how to plot it by going over 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, comma, 4. You just count over x and y units and you'll get your point. My name is Suba Gerwal and thank you for taking an interest in math.